Well, good morning, everybody. It's just so wonderful to see all of you. And the fact that so many have come, it shows me what high regard we all have, we all hold Tony and Tonai and their family. So it's wonderful. And again, thank you so much. And Father, I just pray that you would fill me with your word, with your spirit this morning, that I might just give give hope and comfort and strength to everyone here. Amen. Last week, one of our, our brothers, Mehdi, one of our dear brothers, had COVID. And I decided I'd send him a get well card. And I thought to myself, well, what can I write to really encourage him? He's on his own. He's in this country. What can I write? And I chose these words of Jesus. Nick, if you could just put them on the screen, please. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hair of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Jesus tells us to think about the sparrows. In those days, sold for a very small sum. Apparently, it was a common custom in the East. Sparrows were skinned, roasted and sold. And what a tiny amount of meat must have been on each one of them. Well, we have some really attractive birds come to our bird feeder, including an occasional woodpecker. We also often have the little common brown sparrows. Really plain little things compared to our woodpecker, the robins and the great tits. They come and go unnoticed. No one turns ahead when a sparrow appears. And yet, Jesus says that not even one of these ordinary, seemingly insignificant sparrows are forgotten by God. He cares for each one and even their lives are in his caring hand. Then Jesus goes on to say that God values us far more than these sparrows. God knows all about our situation, our troubles, the pains in our lives. He knows everything, even the numbers of hairs on our head. His love, as we just sang, is greater than all. His love is greater than all our troubles. So Jesus says, don't be afraid. God, your father, loves you greatly. He knows, he cares, he will protect, strengthen and help you. Your lives are in his hands. So let's just look at this a little bit more closely. What does it mean for us, these precious words of Jesus? Well, I say firstly for Tonai herself. For her, there is nothing to fear, nothing to dread. Her life now, as on earth, is totally in God's good hands. Indeed, she lives with him, seeing his face in a place where there are no shadows, where there are no valleys, no dark valleys. We all know how Tonai loved to worship. Well, there will be no end to that now. She will be, she will feel utterly at home. She loved that song we've just sung. Um, about the harbour of our soul. Well, truly she has come to the greatest harbour and she will be feeling utterly 
at home. And, you know, I'm sure she will continue to love and serve in a very, very new way. Because that is Tonai's nature through and through, to love and to serve. And at this moment, I just can't help but remember those delicious cakes she used to cook us at the Jesus Centre. She used to bring them in and it used to be the high point of the day, Tony's, Tony's cooking. Secondly, for Tony and all your dear family, God had his time for taking Tony. Hard that it is. Remember of the sparrows, not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. But you too are in his care and he loves and he will provide for you. You may look on the future with dread, but God would say to you today, I know, I care, and I will protect, strengthen and help you. I will never leave you or forsake you. So don't be afraid. You're worth more than many. Today. It's such a painful time. Losing Tony and we've also lost Peter. The times we live in are full of fear and anxiety for so many. Yet we know we are in his care. He will provide for us. He will, as he has promised, never let us down. His father's love embraces us. His promise is always to be with us and never leave us. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Let me just finish by reading one verse of a psalm of David. David, as we know, had many griefs, many troubles, many, many afflictions. But in Psalm 31, he says, but, I love that, but, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God, my God. My times are in your hands. I'll read that again. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Father, thank you for your amazing love, which is greater than all. In these moments, help us to place our lives in your hands again and say, Father, you love us. We trust you. We trust you for the present. We trust you for the future. We trust you for all whom we love. Thank you, God, for your inexpressible kindness and love towards us all. Thank you, God. Amen.